With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, welcome to doubtnet. Our question gives that a thin uniform cylindrical shell closed at both ends is partially filled with the water. It is floating vertically in water in half submerged state. If rho c is the relative density of the material of the shell, that means cylinder with respect to water, then the correct statement is that the shell is, four options are given, more than half filled if p, uh, rho c is less than 0 0.5. Option b, more than half filled if rho c is more than 1. Half filled if rho 0 is more than 0 0.5 and less than half fill if rho c is a less than 0 0.5 this is also rho c okay so first of all we can draw the diagram for the cylinder okay so we can uh, draw the diagram for the cylinder i am drawing a cylinder okay so okay so this is a cylinder and uh, okay the let the area of cross section of the cylinder is A and the total height of the cylinder is given as H. Okay, what is given in the question? The cylinder is submerged up to a height H by 2. So, this height submerged is given as H by 2. But the level of the water, let the level be raised up to a height H dash. So, the level raised up to a height H dash and the water the height at which the cylinder is immersed is given as okay the level at which the water raises h dash and the submerged height is h by 2 okay so this is a figure we obtain and we can answer this question. Let V be the volume of the material of cylinder. V be the volume of material of cylinder. Okay. And uh, volume of the water displaced, volume of water displaced is according to Akamadi's principle, the whatever be the uh, immersed, so that will be the volume. So it is half immersed, so the water displaced volume is V by 2. Then the buoyant force is given as, buoyant force is given as, it is uh, rho, that means the uh, density of the water into G is into volume, that is volume of the water displaced is V by 2 and the other volume is height, that means H by 2 into area, that is the volume of that uh, immersed portion, okay. So, volume of the water displaced and volume of that immersed portion that is height into area into thickness. Thickness means H by 2 and area is A. So, this is a buoyant force. Next, we can find the weight of the cylinder. So, weight of the cylinder is given as weight of the cylinder is equal to density of the cylinder into cylinder volume. Okay. And similarly, weight of the water inside the cylinder, weight of water inside the cylinder water inside the cylinder is density of water into what is the volume or volume is area into what is the height of the water it is h dash into g okay then at equilibrium what happens is that at equilibrium at equilibrium what happens is at equilibrium the buoyant force is equal to the weight total weight okay so buoyant force is equal to total weight Buoyant force is equal to total weight. So, what happens is that buoyant force is equal to total weight. So, we can uh, equate rho into G into V by 2 plus H A by 2 is equal to what is total weight. So, the total weight is equal to total weight rho C into V G plus rho W into A H dash G. So, what is the density of water? Density of water is 1 and we can cancel the acceleration due to gravity. So, we get the equation V by 2 plus H A by 2 is equal to rho C into V plus A into H dash. From this, we can find the expression for H dash. 
that is h dash is equal to uh, h dash is equal to what is the uh, uh, expression for h dash v by 2 plus h a by 2 minus rho c into v uh, whole divided by a so whole divided by a so we get the equation as v by 2 a plus h by 2 minus rho c v by a or we can take the equation as h by 2 plus v by 2 a into 1 minus 2 into rho c. So this is the equation for h dash. Okay. So our first criteria is given if rho c is less than 0 0.5. What happens if this bracket term become positive? So h dash is greater than h by 2. That means h by 2 plus a term. So h dash becomes greater than h by 2. What happens if rho c is less than 0 0.5? This bracketed term becomes negative. So what about the height? That is h dash becomes h by 2 minus something. That is h dash is less than h by 2. Okay, so what uh, we can check the option. That means in our first option it is given more than half filled if rho c is less than 0 0.5. So this statement is correct. So our answer is uh, if rho c is less than 0 0.5, it is more than half a. Okay. So, this is our answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.